Today we're starting a weird little experiment here and we're going to be using some multi-mode cable which is typically what we use for fiber whenever we're doing shows. And this one is available over Amazon. You can just buy it from Amazon. Here's a little model number, multi-mode LC to LC. This one is five meters, so long enough to do what we need to do. And we're going to end up doing a lot of stress tests to this guy. Supposedly it is armored and should work outside. And with a lot of abuse, so we'll see what happens. So for our testing, we are coming out AS50A of an M32 into a DN9620 Clark Technics, and we're going from it fiber optic to another 9620 on the other side, going into a Behringer SD8, which is going into this RCF speaker. So in this test, if you hear the audio stop, we know that we have completely broken the connection. We're not gonna get down to actually measuring all of the beautiful resistance and everything this cable does. We're just gonna see when it fails. So first thing we're gonna start off on is just jumping up and down on it with some people. So we got music going, and we're just gonna jump up and down on it. Stomp, it's gonna be the greatest party ever. And I think it did pretty good for our stomp test. So next test we have Evan, Sir Evan now, he's been knighted with a fellow, is gonna be on this cart and we're gonna just roll back and forth and back and forth and back and forth over this cable. So music is going, here they go. We're doing good on this test. Next to the next. Our next test is going to be a 9006 with an RCF TTW4 running over and over and over. One of those went right with the caster in the crack and it yeah. still didn't do anything. So on our next test, we've got an 8006 on top of an 8006 with two sub 905s and some plywood carts that we put our 8006s on top of. So we've got the ring cover taped up and we're gonna try to go back and forth and see what happens. It passed that test. So now next to the next trip. So this test is gonna be if somebody randomly drops a hammer on the fiber cable. We'll try different heights. Here goes some music. Music. There it, is. <laughs> it killed it. Killed it. So our impact did kill it. Now we did run over this quite a bit too. Oh, I heard some popping. We're back. Back. <laughs> we need to do it more. Oh, so this is the downfall to our armored fiber. And it's probably because of the metal that armors it getting hit down. So we can cut this thing open and take a look. So what do you see here? It did kind of bust open the jacket. So our hammering did some major sweetness here.
while Tanner is cutting and exploring into this. We do have the actual, which I don't know where we put them all. We had one up there earlier today. We do have the true cable that is made from Midas that has the optical con on it. And uh, where did we put that? It's right there. <laughs> I've got the other one somewhere else. So we've got these, which are supposed to be armored way better than those, but we definitely don't want to test it on a multiple thousand dollar reel. So we will keep trying it with this stuff and we'll take a look and see how this armor actually looks on this thing. So did slice it right there. The armor flattened right there and broke it. Sad. So the armor can get weakened. I wonder where we ran over it 50 million times. What that ended up looking like. Still looks good. It did really good with all of the jumping up and down too. It just can't take severe impacts with hammers. That killed us. So inside of our Amazon stuff here, get it back into focus, we have this braided metal that is kind of like a spring that is very bendable. We're about to do a bending test just to kind of see how it does. But the hammer did destroy it. And Tanner has a piece that he is taking off here just to kind of show you. It's very similar to conduit that you can buy. I'm not sure which one. Oh, those are both the fiber. Very small. Of course, the focus is terrible on this. So it just basically cut it in half with pressure. Right here, it kind of crimped it. Pretty wild. It handled a lot of rolling though. So now on to continuing the test. We have another cable exactly like the one that we just saw and we are going to try other things, bending to see how it holds up. So on this test, we're gonna be doing some bending. right now and it's still doing it so we're gonna undo this and we will turn it back on and try some other things we're tying a knot through using the fiber to make sure we don't hurt our non 620s and then we get a lot of pressure up here Tanner and I think that would still pull through here though and on this test, we're going to end up rolling since we've got it tied off a few places and we're just going to have our feet on it and rolling back and forth. Let's do some music. It passed that test. Whoa, it almost knocked the console over. Instant so we're going to end up having a ladder. We have rolled it with our feet and put the ladder back on it. And we're going to start out with Tanner and get some music going again. Did good on that. You want to try, Josh? 
<laughs> Wait for our music to come back on. Yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> Got some air. Got some air. Okay. Right, so in this test, we have a hand truck with a very sharp, for many use, piece of metal blade at the end that is going to end up landing on the cable and being dropped off. So here we go. Surprising again. So this one we're going to be using dead blow hammers and we're going to start out kind of gentle. Has more surface area so we'll see what happens and then we're going to start beating the crap out of it. Here's some music. Through that, but we're gonna have to look at the shielding here. That is still pretty perfectly round. Kind of crazy. So it has taken some abuse. So we'll try something out in a second. All right, we're gonna use a vise and we're gonna put it in between the vise and this is probably going to be the end of this cable. We'll see what happens. What's Evan vote? I think it will work still. He's got faith. Okay, let me get tight on it. That's definitely crushing it. Guess we'll take it out. Still working. Evan's the winner. So in this test, we have our knot back and we're gonna pull more pressure than Tanner was able to do by having a tuck of war. So we're gonna get audio going. Here we go. End of show. But it didn't break at the knot. <laughs> So how much pressure was that? That was... Oh, no, it might not be in the show. Tanner had some pressure on this. We did resync for a short second. That's right. Is it broke? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's somewhere in that. <laughs> you can see why, and then it stops right in there. But it didn't die at the knot. No. And it's because we had beat the fire out of it. We did beat the fire out of it. Break open a new cape. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty impressive. So how much pressure would you guys say that was? I was, oh, I was fighting. <laughs> it was competitive. <laughs> so then, our next 
ones will be great. You'll have to watch in video two. Please hit like and subscribe. So once we broke this open with a mallet, here's what we got. It basically splits out our fiber up to there. So these could be weak points, but they do look insulated and it's metal. So pretty tough. Plus, hopefully you're not pulling super hard on the connector. 